working on my truck today. The plan is I'm wanting to put a trailer hitch on the back of here. So I have one that's supposed to be here in a few hours. So we will see how that goes. There's going to be a little more to it than that. I need to cut off this uh, high rail gear stuff. And I got the um, one of the factory brake controllers to put in here. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that first while I got it. Then we'll work on wiring and then put the hitch on. The controller goes in this little spot here. So let's try and get uh, access to that little spot. I think this should be the factory wiring for that. Should be. Now, if everything I done was correct, that should, should plug in. Okay, sweet. I was worried whether those were universal or not. And uh, so this goes back in here. That's so tight. Well, this was supposed to be easy, but it's usually how things work. When they're supposed to be easy, they're not easy. This is in the way, is what it is. Maybe try it like that. That seems pretty, pretty solid. Sweet. Get this plug in here. Okay, now that that's installed, but just plugging that in won't work. The com it has to be turned on in the computer. Connect, and it'll pop up all the stuff. Yes. We go to one of these. Um, maybe this one. Or this one. Module configurations. Metron body control module. We're looking for but like you can change all kinds of stuff. Like, if you put a different rear axle in it, you can change it in the computer. All kinds of different stuff. Mm -hmm. Time pressure monitor. Turn the light off. I don't see trailer brake controller. Might be under a different one. Trailer brake control module. Edit. We want to equip. There's more, there's another one in here somewhere. 
Driver belt minder status. I don't need that. I don't even know what that is. What is IPC? Chimes, key, and reminder. Oh, you can turn that off. <laughs> Neutral toe. Ah. Trailer brakes. Edit. Enable. Right. Yes. Okay. Let me stop that. I think that's the only two. What's it do? No, see, when I hit this, it's supposed to say trailer disconnected. So we're still missing something. Okay, got the hitch in. I gave up messing with that bird controller for right now. But look at this. Look at this. This has a quarter inch slop in it. Like this is supposed to be a two inch receiver. And I, I don't think that's acceptable, but maybe it is. Anyways, let's get this uh, old high rail gear off of here. I mean, it's not like, it's not like welding, but.
Got it. Got it. It's a hunk of metal under there. It is. Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, we're going to attempt to hold this up. We get a nut and we hold it up. Mm -hmm. We should be able to put one nut on each side and it'll hold itself. Put the nut on the front one. Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, no way. Look, that thing's perfect. That's awesome. Like literally. That's awesome. Right where it needs to be. If only it wasn't a quarter inch too big, it'd be awesome. Yeah. That's kind of sad. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I get they have a little room because. Rust and hitch and stuff, but oh, true. Okay. now it's easy that we're not holding it in the air. Can you bring me a little orange screwdriver? A little orange one? I forgot. Somewhere. I forgot to pop these sockets out. I can reach it. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay, I'll put that.
That ain't going nowhere. Uh-uh. Is that what they say? Oh. I mean, that's perfect. It is. Here's the underneath. This is just a, it's an aftermarket hitch, but it's supposed to be factory style. I was concerned how it would come out with the bumper, and it's perfect. It's just barely touching right there, but that's fine. So I like it, and it's just probably, probably about a half inch back behind the bumper, so that's that's a nice fit. Well, I guess let's start working on the lights. All right, I'm going to mount this trailer plug right here. I thought about putting it up here, but I feel like it'll be better right here. I don't want it down here because it'll get ripped off. So I think right here might be a reasonable spot to put that. Nothing behind it. Cut metal with a hole saw. It's for metal, but you want lots of oil on it. a center punch you know I could put like a level on that or something but it don't matter if you don't have a center punch you can use a drill bit the same size as the hole you're drilling through something and then you got all your marks Just hold it just in case. <laughs> sure. I'm just making sure that uh, all these line up and doing. I heard a thing. It was probably one of them little washers. Mm-hmm. That's all right. Sweet. Nice. Okay. So let's 
Nobody was annoying. I mean, that's got some questionable things going on here. But I think this is the oh man, that's really corroded. Factory uh, trailer plug. I think. That's the case that that one there looks brown. That should be running lights. But that doesn't mean I'm getting a good connection either. I'll just jab into it. Can you go flip the running lights off for me? And it's on. Turn them off and shut the door. Because it holds the lights on until the door is Does it? Okay. Tell me when the light on the mirror is It takes a minute. Okay, well, first time using the trailer hitch, so I like it. I'm going to put some shims in this so that don't have so much slop in it. And I don't really like how this sticks out right here, so I might recess that in. But anyways, he, this pile of junk here, Dad bought for the transmission. I went in half for the frame and the wheels. That'll be a future project. Okay, so I added this little thin piece of metal here I cut this piece of box tube and I cut in half and that with the receiver in there tightened all that slop up so and this company did give me $40 back because that was made wrong but you can see I primed it because I just welded around through there so Let's make that black today. Ta-da. Okay, so I figured out why this trailer brake here wouldn't work with the truck. And this truck is so basic, on the master cylinder, there's supposed to be a little sensor there that basically tells the computer how hard you're pushing the brakes in. I guess like a pressure sensor. And it don't have that. So in order to make that work, I'd have to get a new master cylinder and a switch. And plus, I think I paid for, for this used was like $75. So I'd have three or $400 in getting this to work. And I didn't feel like doing that. So for $50, I got this brake controller and this plug. It's supposed to plug it in and it's supposed to work. So let's try that. Find this, but I knew I was going to be doing this, so I left my trailer brake plug right here. So I guess I need to fish this thing up through there somehow. To plug it in and fish it down. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds like a, a better idea. Make sure these these plug in together. Oh, it clicked. Actually, I'm gonna plug it in this. Make sure this thing works first. Well, that ain't gonna work. This plug in is not the same as this plug in. Oh, give me a minute, and I will connect. Hopefully, on see got dark. Okay, so plug this in. It didn't work. It freaked out the truck, and these pins in this little wire adapter I bought were all wrong. So, use a test light, and I repinned all these, so they all go on the bottom row. 
and then use the brake controller wire diagram. So, yeah, anyways, now it works. I'm back to put the trailer in that works. So, I'm going to work on brake controller. Get this thing mounted to the dash. Maybe I'll get a light so I can show you guys what went on. All right, there's how that turned out. So, it's pretty decent. Maybe one day I'll, like, cut out a little slot and put this in where the factory one will go. Or maybe not. But anyways, that works, so that's a plus. I guess that'll wrap up this video. Sorry it wasn't much, but y'all have a good one. Uh, see you in the next one.